All right, little brother. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you're back. Um, let's make sure we're in tune together. All right, today we're going to be going over all of our major and minors, and then next week when we meet, we're going to discuss why they are what they are. Uh, great job today, uh, yesterday catching on to the idea of in a major scale, the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, that the second scale degree, the third scale degree, and the sixth scale degree are all minor influences. So you've got a C major, a D minor, an E minor, an F major, a G major, which is a perfect fifth, an A minor, a B diminished, and then a C, we'll get to that B diminished and explain more about that later. But I'd like for you today, as we talked about, is to do these lessons and find those chords. So our minor can be found by flattening the third scale degree. That means in the key of C, if you flatten the third, you'd have C, D, E, because we know the alphabet, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. So in the key of C, the E right here, when you flatten that, becomes the minor. But since the E, I can't flatten that anymore without tuning the tuning pig, we have to figure out another way to play that E, right? So here we have a C, we've got the G, we've got a E, and then we've got a C again. To get this E to go to an E flat, all we have to do is drop this to this. So to play a C minor, you go from a C to a C minor. Or you could play double Cs, because these are in unison, you know? So, which is just like our B major exercise, where we did B major, B major with a bar, and then we took off our third. So when we get to the end of this, it's gonna be the same. So this is your C, C major. With the D major, you're covering these three notes, the A, the D, and the F sharp. So you need that F sharp to go to a F, because D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, F is your third. To make it flat, you have to go down a half step. So from the F sharp to an F. So your D major, here's the D minor. All right, because you have that up. The next note's gonna be the E minor. You can either play a bar chord and do it the same way you play the D minor, just scoot it up. So D minor or E flat minor or D sharp minor, and then E minor. Or you could play the cool one where your fingers go kind of down in a, in, a, in a graph, you know? And leave that G open because E, F, G, G is the third of E, all right? This next chord is F. To get the F, we don't want to push our finger down from the A to the A flat like that because that's weird to play. But we can, like our chord structures, when we did the F in the first finger, take the first finger off, put the second finger here, and then our... Um, third finger comes on the fretboard same thing with the F major to an F minor except you just switch this finger up to that F and then put this finger down on the G sharp or the A flat rather to play the F minor because A B C D E F G A this A if you flatten it becomes the F minor all right the next one is the G major you're going to want to flatten its third because you know this is the G this is the D and this is the B we could say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. B is the third, so we need to flatten that B to a B flat. So we're not gonna do this and push our finger over there or whatever. We're just gonna take our whole fingers and bloop, 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 just like we did with the F. F sharp to F minor, or the F to the F second position, all right? So it's gonna go from a G major to a G minor. You could choose to keep this finger position right there and not move it, right? Or you could play G in the second fingering position while keeping this finger on there and just remove that finger. Either way is great, but I would suggest the first rather than the former rather than the latter, my friend. The next one is going to be your A major. You know how to play an A major because it looks like the F major, except you're not playing an F with the first finger, you're playing a C sharp with the first finger. That's just my puppy barfing. So the A looks like this, it has the C sharp, it has the A in it. In the chord of key of A, a, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C is your third scale degree. To make that a half step down, you would go from your C sharp to your C. So the C major, or the A major, drop that finger out, that's your A minor, as you know. All right, the next one's gonna be the weird one. It's gonna be the B diminished, and you're gonna know it as being a G7, okay? That simply means that when you play the G in the fifth scale degree, 
do re mi fa so you're playing it with a b a g and a d if you take that g tone and flatten it one half step and play all three of them those together that makes something called a g major seven it's different than a g major because it influences that note is a half step off making it a major seventh very airy very light if you want to make that major seventh a dominant seventh you drop it down one more half step thusly giving you the g7 in the fifth scale degree it's considered a g7 but in the seventh scale degree because we've got c d e f g we don't want two g's we don't want c d e f g a g make sense so alphabet has to dictate it's supposed to be a b the b is still in that chord but now the major influence the leading tone of that chord is the b rather than the g and the way it is is when the ear hears the f with the b it correlates going down from the fourth to the third and then the influence of the seventh to the first makes this correlation Hear that resolution? That's the beauty of music. It's all frequency. So what I'd like you to do is find C major, C minor, D major, D minor, E major, E minor, F major, F minor, G major, G minor, A major, A minor, B major, B minor, and B diminished, and C. I'll see you next week, buddy.